Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Angela, and in today's video, we're going to be working on some sublimation shirts for St. Patrick's Day. I always want to say Mardi Gras. St. Patrick's Day. Um, a few quick updates before we get into this video. Um, beanies from ajblanks.com will be restocking. Should be here today, so by the time you see this video, they will be here. Also, we do have a new product for AJ Blanks, which you'll see in this video because I'm going to be using them, which is adult sublimation shirts. So 100% polyester, they come, we have eight colors right now. Um, so the white and then there's a vintage pink, mint, sage green, like a stone-like gray, then a gray, which is like a heathered looking gray, um, cream, lavender, I think that's it. I don't know. You can check out ajblanks.com. So we do ship all our blank orders. Same or next day, placed by noon. It will usually ship same day. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some shirts. We do also sell kids sublimation shirts that only in white right now. So if you could let me know which colors would you like to see in the kids version? So the kids version will just be the unisex like boys style. So kind of like a shirt like this. Um, it's not the girls cut, so that's the only style I will offer the sublimation shirts in, in color for kids. But I want to know which colors you guys like most and which you guys think I should order. So leave them down in the comments below. Let me go grab the shirts. Um, the transfers just finished printing. I'm going to print some for me, Riley, Roman, my mother-in-law. We'll see how they turn out. All right, so here are the shirt colors. You're good, I should have just showed you. So this is the vintage pink rose color, mint green, sage, oh, you cannot see this on camera, sage green, lavender, light gray stone, this is the gray that I was saying looks like Heather Gray. White and cream. So these two for comparison. This is the light gray and this is the sage green. Okay, this is my sublimation printer room. So I do have the Epson F570 for it. My sublimation printer, as you can see, like it prints like a very long sheet. It's 24 inches by like kind of unlimited. Obviously, as long as the roll is, is as unlimited as you can get. Um, so, especially for adult design, so I don't have to take papers together, I can just print them all at once. And I'll just cut it as well, so I just pull it out. So, here are some of the designs I chose, and we'll see how they come out. So, I was trying to figure out, like, what color to do with what. <laughs> trying to map it out, see what it would look like. Um, I've never submitted on color shirts, so... Just see how the color comes out. Obviously on white, the colors are very vibrant. This one is for Riley. Um, and this one I wanted to do on white as well just because it has like little pink um, spots in the back. I don't know, I guess we'll just wing it. If it looks ugly, well, it's a gift for somebody else. <laughs> so it's all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear the transfer. I use this, um, it's from Amazon. And then I'll just rip so that I don't have like a block around it. Um, and it's more feathered. I do still get like an outline on it. I know people, a lot of people ask like, how do you get rid of like the outline of the transfer? I honestly feel like there isn't a way. You could try a pressing pillow if you want and see how it turns out. Um, it's like the only advice I have because I feel like you do need a lot of pressure for sublimation um, so that it doesn't ghost. So. I don't know. Anybody else have any tips on how to avoid like the line around the transfer? I know ripping it is supposed to help a little bit. So if anybody has any tips, leave them down below. And if you're wondering that question, go ahead to the comments and see if you found an answer to your questions or any questions that you have.
All right, so all the transfers are done and they are ready to be pressed. So we need a lint roller, um, which I don't see over here, <laughs> and we need uh, the butcher paper. So I'm gonna grab those as well. All right, so the heat press is almost heated up to 385 degrees. I'm gonna start with what I'm used to doing, which is the kids. This is what our uh, boys slash unisex lumbation shirts look like. This one is from Mr. Roman. So let's go ahead and I just place it on here. And then I have my lint roller and I'm just gonna lint roll 10 million, bil oops, 10 million, billion, trillion, billion, billion, billion times. And if you don't lint roll enough, you will notice that when you press your shirt, you will have blue specks on it. The blue specks are from the fibers. You don't see them originally, but once they get heated, they will appear magically and they do not come off. So make sure you overkill the lint roll, just saying. And here's my transfer. I always also look at my transfer because I do have embroidery in here. I look at my transfer and make sure there's no dust on it because it just happens. So I look at it and sometimes I wipe it, blow on it, <laughs> and then uh, place it on. I do also have the heat resistant tape. It's from Amazon. I just put two pieces on. And then sometimes this stuff gets lint on it, and then I really get lint. And then I have my unwaxed butcher paper sheets. I got mine from Uline. And then press it for 60 seconds, and that is all. And yes, there's a baby in my belly. This one came out super cute. Miss Stud looks just like Roman with his big old head and he always has to wear his hat every single day. He wears his hat the whole entire day at daycare. He won't take it off. And it's also green because it's a Jurassic Park hat. Next shirt will be for Miss Riley. Also no, you cannot, I know I'm gonna get the question. You cannot reuse butcher paper. You see, you can kind of still see the design on here. So that's why you don't reuse it because this can get transferred over to your next one. Can you even see it on camera? Yeah, you can see that smile face. All right, and these are our girls' shirts. These are the sublimation puff sleeves. This is the size 12. This actually looks like it'll fit me. <laughs> but not with my stomach. But <laughs> this is a girl size 12. Um, so we also offer these. We also have ruffle. Um, Everything should be restocked on the website. All the girls, boys, kids sublimation. The adult sublimation shirts, the color shirts, there's definitely limited quantities because they've been up already for like three days. Um, so whatever's there is there. And then I will be restocking some in about a week. So just keep checking back on the website. Um, and this was like a trial run. So place your orders. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? And keep it going. All right, new lint roll sheets. I normally use about one and a half sheets per shirt. This is a bigger shirt, so I will probably use more. And you wanna lint roll every single place that this heat press is gonna touch. Um, so just mentioning that as well. <laughs> Who else hates when that happens? Who told you to do this? Oh, dang. Now nah, I really messed up. Now nah, I really gotta get another sheet. Ain't nothing lintier than this floor in this, in this warehouse. All right, now we gotta start again. And whoever thinks I'm overkilling this lint roll, listen, I'd rather waste a sheet versus $6 shirt, all right? 
cool. And here's our next one. I don't see anything on it in regards to length, so let's press it. Anyone else find like circular designs, curved designs, hard to like make sure it's actually the center? That's me. Usually like if it's letters, you can kind of see if it's straight or not. And this purse. I just realized this one has a grunge effect. I didn't notice. <laughs> but the design has grunge effect. But again, the colors are so vibrant on AJ Blake's. Super cute. Super cute. Super cute. All right, let's try our first colored shirt. This is gonna be for me. I got a large because this is this this might be too big. This this is gonna be pretty big, but I'll sleep in it. It's cool. I thought you know with my stomach and all I needed a large, but this large is large. So I will get a medium next time, but I will survive for now. My butcher paper isn't long enough, so I'm gonna have to double it. Hold, 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 hold. All right, color still came out super vibrant. I think this is uh, super cute. This is pretty big on me though. Like this is this is almost a dress, so definitely a medium for me. But colors came out cute. This is the cream colored shirt. It looks like the trash truck is about to be out back making a lot of noise, so I apologize in advance for the trash <laughs> noise. All right, so this is the sage green shirt. I'm gonna do this design on it. <laughs> we will see if it looks okay or not. We'll find out. You don't know until you. This, this, this didn't work. Oops. You don't know until you do it and then it looks ugly, then you know. So, like I said, I'm just gonna give this uh, to either my mom or mother in law. I don't know. No, I forgot to, to rip the edge of this one. Dang it. So you can definitely see on the side. Right here. 
It could have been like some ink on the side. That's why I always rip, but didn't remember. But other than that, I think colors came out good. I think it's cute and I have to decide who I'm gonna give this one to. Not sure. But I do think it turned out super cute. What do you think? Now this one I'm having troubles deciding. Just thinking it can go. Like it looks like it might be cute on this light stone gray. But then I don't know about the checkers in the back. The checkers on the back make me want to not do it on this. They make me want to do it on white. Guess we'll just... Just... <laughs> decisions, decisions. All right, we're just gonna do it on the white. Um, let's see how it turns out. I don't think I printed this big enough for an extra large. Like, I don't think I printed the design big enough for an extra large. I definitely didn't print it big enough for an extra large. I will say lint rolling is so much easier on these adult shirts than the kids. Maybe because they like hang over so much and the kids move so much more. But these lint roll a lot easier. I will say another thing to know about our shirts, the kids shirts are thicker. The white kids shirts are thicker than the adult. Um, uh, shirts. Just mentioning that as well. All right. That 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 was a fail on that tape job, Angela. Maybe it won't move. You know what, maybe I should have did it on this. Maybe it would have looked fine. Because I wasn't sure about the green on green on this one, but I think it actually looks pretty cool. So yeah, I do like the design on the white. I knew the white would look best, but you know, you always want to try with like other colors. I think this is super cute. Let's see. This is extra large. I'm not that big. I am 34 weeks pregnant, but not extra large. Um, yeah, I think this is a cute design. This design is from Etsy. And uh, there's one. One of the designs was from Etsy, the rest were from Creative Fabrica, Fabrica, whatever. But yes, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to check out ajblakes.com for the adult, well, both for the sublimation needs because we have bodysuits, the kids' white shirts, um, and the adult. We'll be getting the kids' color in, guys. They'll be coming, but just let me know which colors I should get in the kids' colored <laughs> sublimation shirts. I am also working on the adult embroidery shirts, so it's taking some time, but I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Don't forget, Beanies did restock today, so yes. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.